This issue of Filler is brought to you by NexusDigitalComics.com. Welcome to Filler. I'm your documentarian, Nick. Is this thing on, Buck? So we all know the ruckus ramparts of the Red Devil that is Hellboy. Spawning two live-action films, two straight-to-DVD animations, and two video games, one is left in wonder of the astronomical importance of the number two. But let's talk about the importance of pancakes. The year was 1944. The Nazi war was coming to a close, and the Reich commissioned Grigory Rasputin to summon a demon. Anung Unrama was hurtled to Earth in a fireball, and his birthday was set. He remained tethered to his former plane of existence, however, until he ate his first Earth meal. Buttersoft pancakes drizzled with syrup. After the first bite, the newly named Hellboy was fated to be the paranormal hero of BPRD. His surrogate father, Broom Brutenholm, raised the stone-armed hero as a regular boy. TV and bedtimes were a normality as the boy became a man. His long horns were filed off by his own volition. His true parents offer some confusion as it is known that Anung Un Rama is the son of a demon and a witch. One story suggests that his mother is a descendant of Arthur Pendragon, making Hellboy the last living heir to the throne of England. In a few years he will draw the sword of Excalibur, pushing the idea further. While he has a variety of weapons and spiritual relics, Hellboy tends to prefer close-quarter fighting using the right hand of Doom. His stone hand is the tool to release the dormant Agru Jahan. As the lore and the title goes, God created several greater spirits to watch over the newborn Earth. One decided to do some creating of his own and made the Agru Jahan from the four elements. The dragons of Revelation sprang to life when darkness fell upon it. It spawned a litter of abominations and the greater spirits promptly killed the beings. With the dragons trapped in crystal at the center of the abyss, all wrongs would have been righted. The greater spirits, however, began to distrust Agdru Jahad's creator and eviscerated him, leaving behind only his right hand, the hand that is now attached to Hellboy. Furious, God banished the murdering spirits to hell or earth where they would create more beasts. These spirits were the first race who would eventually destroy themselves, leaving the world open to human rule. In addition to his right hand of doom, Hellboy also wears an invisible flaming crown. In Box Full of Evil, Igor Bromhead gains dominion over Hellboy and a demon named Uallik by tethering their names. Igor commands Uallik to steal the crown of Apocalypse and becomes an even more powerful demon. Hellboy's name, however, Anung Ung Rama, literally translates to, and upon his brow is set a crown of fire. When the crown is removed, his name is no longer valid and Hellboy is released from Igor's spell. With Big Red free, he begins to do what comes naturally to him. He pummels. As we uncover the truth of Hellboy's birth, we also follow his present era exploits into the realm of supernatural research and defense. He fights every manner of evil and meets a great number of otherworldly allies. The story mimics the art in intensity and is well worth the read. Regrettably, the stories are often written out of order, so it would be advantageous to buy the collected issues. Still, they are highly entertaining as they combine aspects of old world horror and noir with the comedic stylings of a big brooding red demon. With black panels and deep reds, the series is well delivered and even more favorably received. I look forward to many more stories of supernatural investigations. So that's Hellboy, this is Filler, and I'm Nick saying support your local comic shop. And yes, you have just been filled.